In this video, we're going to look at using VanityGen to create Vanity Bitcoin addresses for cold storage. In this case, we're going to focus on the GPU version of VanityGen using GPU cards, which is far more efficient and faster uh, to hash uh, Vanity Bitcoin addresses. So go to this link, open up the VanityGen webpage, page down to the current version, click on the Windows binaries here. Once the Windows binaries are downloaded, open them up and put these uh, files into a folder on your desktop. Here is the folder that I've created on my desktop with the files that we just downloaded. Please note there's an OCL bin file that is here uh, because I've already run a test of this. Uh, go to Windows, right click, copy the address. Now open up Notepad and paste the folder into it. Remove C colon backslash and copy this file directory so we can use it in the terminal window. Next, open up the command prompt and type cd backslash and paste in the link that we just copied out of Notepad. Hit enter and now we're in the Windows Tech Binary folder where we have the executable files. So at this point, we've downloaded the software, put it into a folder on our desktop, and we've pointed our terminal window using the CD command to point to the directory of the executable OCLVanityGen.exe. What we're going to do now is set up the files to run a non-case sensitive file run uh, using our prefix command for a single RX580 card that I'm running on my computer here at home. What we're going to do in the terminal window is to run the OCL VanityGen.exe. We're going to have this configuration text for the GPU. My input file is comics.txt, which has about 3,000 superhero names in it. And the output will be found.txt in the same directory. So let's open up the folder that the terminal window is pointed at. We have the OCL Vanity Gen EXE application ready to run. Our input file is called comics that holds the prefixes that we're going to be searching for as we're running various Bitcoin hashes. Let's open up comics and have a look at it. So I've opened the comic superhero prefix name for OCLVanityGen.exe to run against. So in this case, let's look at this uh, superhero name. One, Shazam. One has to be put into whatever name that you want. You can create your own text file with whatever combinations you want. The one thing to note, the longer the name, the less chance that you'll find it. In this case, I have extremely long names at the top and very short names uh, at the bottom of this file. When you look at the length of the ones at the bottom, these will take a few minutes to run. The ones at the top, you may never find because of the complexity. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. So now that we have the terminal window pointed at the directory that we have our executable file in, we have the configuration script, and we also have the text file that contains the prefix we want to use, copy this string uh, and paste it into the terminal window uh, under the directory that the executable is in. So we're back at the terminal command prompt window and we're going to paste in what we've just copied. Once we hit enter, the OCL Vanity Gen is going to start parsing through that list, in this case, of about 3,000 prefixes that we'll be looking for uh, in this uh, test run. Uh, this will go on uh, for some time. I'm going to uh, stop uh, and uh, pick it up uh, once the kernel has been built. All right, well, we've gone through the uh, prefix matcher, and now the 
OCL Vanity Gen is generating uh, hashes and checking the prefixes uh, against the list that we provided in the file comics. Each one of these returns, for example, Thor, uh, or uh, the next one would be um, Hun Bats, uh, is being picked up as it goes through. You can see that right now we found seven of 3,337 that we have in that list. And this will be going on for, well, you could let this literally run for years and it's not going to find every one of those. But we, you will find a, f uh, a few. So let's go back over to the folder on your uh, desktop, which has now a text file called found. Found is where the OCL Vanity Gen is going to be dumping all of those Bitcoin addresses that have the prefixes that we're looking for, in this case, in the comics text file. So I've opened the found text file that contains all the Bitcoin addresses and their prefixes and the private keys that the OCL Vanity Gen EXE has created. Let's look at the first one. The pattern is one joker. The address is one joker and a whole bunch of other stuff. And here's a private key. In order to turn this into a cold storage wallet, uh, a technique that I like to do is to copy this and put it into QR codes. So let's turn those addresses now into QR codes. So I've opened up Codex, which is a free QR code generator from Microsoft. Uh, I'll put in the uh, public key and hit generate code, go save as. I'm going to call it Joker public and hit save. And uh, then I'll do the same thing for the private key. Generate QR code, save as. And then I'll format these uh, in a PowerPoint or a picture uh, to print and have offline and then delete all of the files on my computer so there's no uh, trace of them. So here, I drag both of those uh, JPG picture files of the QR codes into Paint 3D uh, to demonstrate here's your public on the left, your private on the right, and you can uh, be as creative artistically as you want, but if you hold up your uh, cell phone on the left, you can see that the public key comes up or the uh, private key on the right. Uh, you can print it, uh, put it in an envelope, and now you have uh, cold storage, vanity, Bitcoin addresses that you can use for whatever purpose that you'd like.